Hey, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install Steam on a Windows 10 PC. Steam has over 20 million active users, a large portfolio of games. It's super popular. I've been asked to show how to install this lots of times on Twitter, so I'm gonna start doing it now. Um, by the way, if you have a request of something that you want me to do a quick tutorial on or just go a little bit more in depth, with the link in the description for a form that you can submit your topics. And it's just a little bit easier to organize it instead of getting DMs over Twitter, Discord, and IG and everything else. Uh, just some basic information. And if you want a shout out, include your handle and I'll put it in there as well. So let's take a look at Steam. So before we begin playing any games, we have to install the app. So in order for us to do that, we can just open up Google and type in download Steam, do a quick search. And so steampowered.com is the official URL for this. So we'll just click on the first link here and it's gonna take us to the store of it. Um, what we can see in the top right hand corner is the install link. So if we just click on this, we can download the file. So here is the download screen. Uh, Windows 10 is what we're using right now. So you just click on install Steam to download it. And as you can see just below, there's an Apple and Linux version available. So we'll click on it and open it up, say yes to the prompt. Let me just minimize that. And then we're just gonna click on the next button for the first one. And then we're gonna be using English, click on next. And then we're gonna leave the default folder as is, unless you wanna change it for whatever reason, then click on install and it'll begin to install the files. And once it's done, before you click on finish, just make sure you have the run option selected. And then when you click on finish here, you'll see that it's gonna to try to update. Now this is completely normal. It's gonna extract and download the most up-to-date version and packages that are required to run it. And this takes a few minutes. So just let this happen. Um, and we'll just jump over to the end of this. Okay, so when the update is done, you have a login screen here. Now we're going as if we've never used this before. So we're gonna create a new account by clicking on the first link here. And it's just gonna ask for a couple of details, your email address and country. Um, so I'll just type in my email address and then I'm going to put it in again to confirm it. Uh, country of residence is Canada and we'll check it. And now it wants to do these fun little check mark boxes. I have to find all the bicycles. Um, here's another bicycle, another bicycle, another bicycle. Okay. Done. Right. There's no more. Okay. Click on verify. All right. There we go. So it's done. And then we can scroll down a bit here. Okay, and I'm over 13, yes I am, check it, and then click on continue. And now it wants to verify it. So it just sends a verification email to your email address. Um, you just have to quickly jump over to your email and click on the verify link. So I'm just gonna go into my email account and here is the email and where's the link? Here it is, click on it. And there we go, so our email is verified. So now that we're validated, we can log in. And the next step is to create an account name and set up your password. So the account name is going to be visible by anyone. So put whatever name you want in here. Probably not best to use your real name. I'm going to put in Geekwire and then I'm going to put in a password. Uh, it needs a minimum of eight characters. So put in at least eight characters and then retype it in. And then when it's complete, you can click on done. So there we go, it's successfully completed. Click on continue. And here we go, this is the main login screen. So this is where you can enter in the account name and password that you just created. And then you can also check the checkmark box to remember the password if you don't wanna to have to enter this in every single time and then click on login. So it's just gonna launch the application. You get the browser that opens up here and then you get the chat window that pops up right away. I have no friends, so there's nothing in here to see right now. Um, as you grow in the community and you play with other people, you can instantly add them in pretty quickly by just clicking on the plus sign next to their name. Um, but what we can do is we can just close out of this and I can show you the other window. All right, so let's just close that out and full screen it. And so you can see everything that's going on in here. So you have a store, a library, a community, and then your profile and any games that you may have purchased will show up right away in the community. It's basically a forum, uh, tips, tricks. Uh, announcements and everything else goes in here. And then, so this is your profile and you can see everything under your own game. If you have activities, if you've reached milestones and everything else, that'll pop up in your community tab. That'll show up in your profile and under store, this is where you're gonna get your games. So 
Um, all those labels I had showed you at the beginning of the video, they're all available here. Some are free, some are you have to pay for, some are cheap, some are expensive. There's a bunch of categories on the left-hand side that help you select what game you want. And how about I just do a free game right now, just to show you how to do it. So there's a section in here called free to play. There it is, click on that. And yeah, they'll show you a few games that you can just download right away. This sort of looks like Roblox, so maybe we'll install that. Um, there are some other titles in here that are pretty popular. Skip through Warframe, Aim Lab. That's kind of cool for practicing your shooting. VR Chat. Okay, so I'm going to go back to. So let's just install Unreturned. Click on it and then scroll down. So when you click on Play Game, it's going to start to download it. It'll let you know the size. So this one's 4.57 gigs. Make sure you have enough space. Click on Next and it's going to start to download it. So at the bottom of the screen, you can see there's a queue here that you can uh, tell the status of how far it is and downloading and installing it. And once it's complete, then you can go ahead and play the game. So let's jump to that part. Okay, so it looks like it's complete now. We got a little prompt here. Uh, and all you have to do is click on the play button and it'll load up the game. And I'm gonna just skip this. So you don't have to install that to play the game and it'll load up in just a few seconds here. So there you go, we're up and running. So that's how you install Steam, set up an account, install a game and get up and running. And that's all that's needed. So that's it. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.